Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel, hi I'm SMATX. Today we have really interesting and relaxing questions 3 to the x equal to x to the 9th power. And the relative approach is how can you solve this question, for example the first one, the most popular one, is according to lambda w function. But in this video I'm going to show you a great approach according to the power rules about a really interesting tricky moments right here, so let's look at it, what will happen right here. And basically I have a video according to lambda w function, so you can also practice lambda w function on my YouTube channel, but in this video I'm going to show you a really great tricky moves according to power rules. Let's do the thing right now. First of all, let's rewrite our question right here. So we have 3 to the power x equal to x x to the power 9. Here's our question. And first of all, let's raise both sides to the power 1 over 9. Don't ask me why, but let's see what will happen. So we raise both sides to the power 1 over over 9. Okay, let's do this. It changed nothing because we're gonna raise both both sides. So as a result, what do we have right here? 3 to the power x we're gonna raise to the power 1 over 9, okay, and equal to x to the power 9, we're gonna raise to the power 1 over 9. So we change nothing, we raise both sides. Right now we need to know a really great property, all known screw formula, all known power rule, if we have a to the power x, we raise this to the power y, as a result we have a to the power x x times y. And right now let's apply this rule in both of these cases. As a result we have 3 to the power x times 1 over 9, yeah, and equal to x to the power 9 times 1 over over 9. And if you look closely, 9 times 1 over 9, this is like an opposite fraction, so this is equal to equal to 1, and x times 1 over 9 equal to x over 9. So finally we have 3 to the power x, x over 9, equal to equal to only x, so as a result we have, we have only x. Right now, the second step, let's raise both sides to the power 1 over x. Let's do this right now. So we're gonna raise both sides to the power 1, 1 over x. What do we have right here? We have 3 to the power x over 9, we raise this to the power 1 over x, equal to x to the power 1 over 1 over x. Right now let's apply the same the same property as before. As a result we have 3 to the power x over 9 times 1 over x equal to x to the power 1 over over x. And if you look closely we have x in our numerator and x in our in our denominator. So we're gonna cancel this. As a result we have 3 to the power 1 over 9. Let's do this. Let's write the thing right here. So 3 to the power 1 over 9 equal to x to the power x to the power 1 over x. And a lot of students ask me why I, why I did it, why I made this move right here, how can we solve this challenge right now? We have we have absolutely different expressions on both sides, but this is my answer. We grouped x's on the left on the right side and our constant, our coefficient on the on the left side. So it's it's a really great thing for us. And right now I'm going to show you a really great, a really great approach. First of all, we need to know, we need to remember about a rule of a rule of interchange. So it looks like that. When we have a to the power x raised to the power y, this is equal to a to the power x times y. The previous rule, yeah, from, from here, from, from this step, we're gonna, we're gonna rewrite this rule. But in the same way, because of this product, we can easily swap this y and x, and as a result, we can easily write it as a to the power y raised to the power x. We have all the time equal sign. In the beginning, we have x inside parentheses, y outside, and in the end, we have y inside and x outside. So someone called this rule of interchange. It helps us a lot. So right now, let's make this tricky move right here. According to this, according to this property, it helps us. It helps us a lot. So let's make this rule. Let's continue solve this question question right here. So let's raise this to the third power and raise to the power one third. So just look at it. So we have right here our expression, three to the power 1 over 9. Okay, this is our expression. Right now, let's raise this expression to the power 3. And because we need to change nothing, we need to raise this to the power 1 third. Then we can easily cancel this 3 and this 3, so it changed nothing. But, you know, let's write it, this is equal to x to the power 1 over x. But right now, let's look at this property as I as wrote before. We can easily swap our powers, okay? And in, in, this read, in this case, let's swap 3 and let's swap 1 over 9, okay? We can easily do this according to this, according to this rule of interchange. As a result, what do we have right here? We have right here 3 to the power not 1 over 9, but 3. We're gonna apply this rule of interchange. And this 1 over 9 goes outside, so we have right here 1 over 9, and raised to the power 1 third, raised to the power 1, 1 third, equal to x to the power 1 
1 over x. Really great. Right now, 3 to the power 3. From school, you need to know that 3 to the power 3 equal to a product, uh, but in the same way, we can easily write it that this is equal to 27. So 3 times 3 and times 3. As a result, we have 27 to the power 1 over 9 to the power 1 over 3. Let's write. Let's write the thing we have right here. 27 to the power 1 over 9 to the power 1 over 3 and equal to x to the power 1 over x. Okay? Really great. Right now, the final moment. We have a to the power x raised to the power i. For example, let's look right here. a to the power x raised to the power y. This is like we can write it as a product x times y. So we can easily multiply 1 over 9 times 1 over 3. Let's do this. So we have right here 27 to the power 1 over 9 times 1 over 3 equal to x to the power 1 over x. And the final moment, we can easily multiply this these fractions let's do the thing right now as a result we have 27 to the power 1 over 27 equal to x to the power 1 1 over x okay really great and right now if we look closely we have looks like absolutely the same like uh, looks like the same model of, of uh, expression we have right here a constant we have right here looks like uh, this like a variable but in the same way this is a constant because this is a solution to this challenge and in the same way we have the same the same model of fraction on both side so one and on the way that this equation will have root when base equal to base and exponents equal to exponent in our case we have absolutely the same constant in both in both of these in both of these cases so only one way when equation will have root when x equal to when x equal to 27 okay so i hope you see this i see this thing right now because then we will have absolutely the same expression when x equal to 27 we will have like 27 to the power 1 over 27 equal to right here we're gonna plug in this 27 we have 27 to the power 1 over over 27 and as you can see this is our this is our correct correct solution correct correct property so let's write our final answer to this question our final answer x equal to x equal to 27 and this is only first approach because um, i guess on my channel i have um, the, the same question but according to lambert w function i i think so i'm not sure but i solved this question according to lambert w function so if you're interested if you want to practice lambert w function you can also check in my youtube channel i have a lot of questions according to lambert w function according to a lot of um, lambert w function cases so it will be really interesting for you i guess to to practice this or if you like this uh, method with the power rules but I want to mention one really important moment. This is not like a general method. This is not like a uh, this is not like a general method according to this uh, according to this uh, expression. So when we have like exponential function equal to exponential function, the general method to solve this question is Lambert W function. This is like 100% correct method, and every time like 99, 100%, you will solve this question, and you will have your your x. But in the same way, if you're talking, for example, just look at it right here, for example, if we have not like 3 to the power x, I guess we have like like uh, 3 to the power x equal to x to the power, for example, 5. We have something like that. And you try to solve this question like that, okay? You try to raise this, you try to group it, uh, you try to like a uh, group constant on the left side variables on the right side so something like that and you go step by step as you can see right here happened that we have right here a really great case to write our final root to find our final final solution because we have right here absolutely brilliant case for us we have 27 and this like obvious solution for us but for example imagine you have uh, in this equation i'm not sure uh, i guess this is incorrect but basically i this is not about that i'm going to write this thing for example we have in this equation you solve this challenge according to these power rules and you have you have something like that you have like something like that 5 to the power looks like uh, let's go with 1 over 3 equal to x to the power 1 over x you have something like that according to this uh, power rule method okay you have something like that and you can solve this question basically somehow you can do this with the with the different tricks but it's not that easy as in uh, in this case okay in this case we have absolutely absolutely great case when x equal to 27 but if you're talking about this method as, as a basic general method this is looks like a method if you're talking about uh, special cases it it happens right here that we've, we've solved this challenge easily but it's not a general method if you want to solve this question quickly and 100 correct you need to know about lambert 
lambda w function. This is really important, important thing. But it happens sometimes that with these power rules, we solve this challenge, as you can see right here, absolutely correct. So I hope you understand my notes about this. I hope you understand. I hope you learned something new. It will be really interesting to exchange information down into the comment section. What do you think about it? What do you think about my thoughts about this question? And I hope you understand it. I hope you learned something new. I hope you learn some new information i hope you learn i hope you remember about really great power tools i hope you learn about it it will be really interesting to read your uh, answer down into the comment section it will be really interesting to exchange information and thank you for your time wish you all the best in your mathematic adventure i hope you're doing great i hope you learned something new in this video so thank you for your time have a great day see you in the next videos here's our answer here's our question so you can easily pause the video and and rewrite it on your paper or, or your, your, your book right here. So this is really interesting. So thank you for your time. Have a great day.